Keeping at local conditions across northeast Wisconsin have been a mess today with wind and rain. Local 5's Aaron Tanner shows us how, thanks to this inclement weather in Manitowoc, a beacon has been lost to Lake Michigan. There it went. <laughs> now it's a shipwreck. Or a lighthouse wreck. At the Wisconsin Maritime Museum, shipwrecks are frequently featured. And now there's a beacon that falls within that jurisdiction. Witnessed it actually go completely off the break wall and into the lake. With the right uh, swell and the wind direction and the duration that it's been building since last night. A beacon that once guided ships into Manitowoc's harbor. It's a pretty busy harbor in the summer. This would be the South Pier navigational light that uh, welcomes people into the harbor. Lost to an angry Lake Michigan. It's not a lighthouse. It's, uh, it's, a, it's an aid to navigation, but uh, certainly it's still an important beacon and we'll definitely look to address it, the fact that it's missing. Stealing from the pier is an unusual move for the body of water. There's been a lot of wave action out there on the pier, but I've never seen the, the navigational light or lighthouses damaged. But the lake that took the beacon will also determine when it can be replaced. It's pretty nasty on the lake. Even without waves in the wintertime, we usually we have ice. So I, I, I would say definitely wintertime will delay any kind of a rebuild. As water continues to punish the pier, all they can do is wait. The waves got very large and the direction was directly into the break wall. So it's not a common occurrence, but uh, you know, in the end, Mother Nature sometimes wins. This round goes to Lake Michigan in Manitowoc. Aaron Taylor, Local 5 News. And officials with the Coast Guard say any vessels on that lake have been warned the beacon is missing.